Alright everyone, we're going to be doing my second game of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader on the PlayStation 2, in which so far in one game I have won $25,000. Am I going to win more? We shall find out. Hopefully I can win a million dollars and prove that I am indeed smarter than a fifth grader. Alright. Oh, I forgot to switch the memory cards. Whoops. There we go. Let's try to hang on to that $25,000. Hopefully make it up to one million and prove that I am indeed smarter than a fifth grader. she was what to Jack? In front of... Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You got one thousand dollars. That was easy. Awesome. It looks like, according to this problem, Jill beat Jack to that pail of water. Which subject do you want? First grade U.S. Geography. Okay, the two thousand dollar question is... Which one of the following states is in the top ten of farm products? Alicia has locked in her response. California, Utah, Nevada, or Alaska? Which of the following states is in the top ten of farm products? Uh, I don't know this. I should know this. I'm going to have to peek. I have a gut feeling, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's see what your classmate's answer is. California. Okay. I feel good about this one. You've got. Two it is California. Dollars. Okay. All right. I wasn't confident with that one, but it's okay. California's in the top ten for dairy products: cotton, hay, oranges, grapes, tomatoes, and rice. It's time to decide which one of George. these scholars you want to be your classmate. It's you and me, George. Pick another subject. Second grade art, please. Okay. For $5,000, here is the question. Where was Pablo Picasso born? Spain. Okay. I'm locking in my answer. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Five grand. Awesome. Pick your next subject. Second grade world geography. Okay. The $10,000 question is... If you were to look into the middle of most continents, what would you most likely see? In the middle of most continents? I'll say mountain I'm ranges. Mountain I'm ranges. I'm going to lock in my answer. That very well could be the right oh, answer. Oh, boy. But it's not. Ugh. Oh, I can't believe it. Now hang on. Let's see if your partner can handle this one. Never plateaus. The power of fifth grade. So I got saved. So I won ten thousand dollars. You've got ten thousand dollars. Luckily, you've got a pretty smart classmate that. The middle of the continents are pretty stable and usually transformed by slow moving forces of erosion, like glaciers. It's time to call a new class Jeremy. to the podium. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Pick your next subject. Third grade life science. Okay. You get this next question right, and you leave with 
In a rainforest, what do you call the continuous cover of trees that overshadows the jungle? I would say you call it a canopy. Locking in. You've got 20. Yeah! So I get to come back for a third game soon. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. An amazing amount of life can be found in the canopy, much of which is only now being discovered. You've got your classmate up here with you. Third grade math. Okay, no matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen... To How many of the interior angles in an equilateral triangle have, have the same number of degrees? How many of the interior angles in an equilateral triangle have the same number of degrees? All three of them. Locking in. You've got 50,000. Yeah! Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. An equilateral triangle has three equal angles. It's Juliet. To decide which one of these young scholars I'm going to pick. Juliet. Pick your next subject. Fourth grade science. Okay. The one hundred thousand dollar question. Which is the? What is the name of the NASA program searching for extraterrestrial life? Ooh, I'm gonna have to copy. Your classmate is locked in. And I have to go with it. She says SETI. You're going for $100,000. You've got $100,000. Yeah! Next up is $175,000. The first SETI projects were launched in 1960. Let's pick a subject. Fourth grade animal science. All right, for one hundred and seventy-five thousand. True or false? A shark's teeth are attached directly to its jawbone. I'll say true. Locking in. There's right answers. Oh. And then there's wrong. So I'm walking away with twenty-five grand. That belongs in the second group. Dang it! It's false. Uh. Up there, you see your answer. Now let's see the right one. Oh well, I have a two-game winning total of fifty thousand dollars. That's okay. The shark skeleton is made of cartilage, not bone, and the teeth are directly connected to its flesh. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. I am such an idiot. All right, it is time to say those eight magic words. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. And I'll see you all for that next video, everybody. Two game winning total of $50,000. Alrighty.